Hi there guys, it's Nayla here, hope everyone is good. I'm finally back here in my bedroom, so that means that I'm back from my amazing trip in Seoul. If anyone's interested, <laughs> I was in Seoul for a couple of weeks um, and I literally just absolutely loved it. I fell in love with that city and I am immediately thinking of when I'm going to be going back. If you would like to see what I got up to when I was in Seoul, feel free to click the little i button in the top corner and I'll link a couple of my vlogs. And also make sure you're following me on my Instagram because I posted loads of photos in Seoul. So if you are planning on going to Korea anytime soon and you want a little bit of inspiration on where to go, make sure you're following. This is my Korea haul. Now let me just tell you in advance that I knew I was going to buy a lot when I was in Korea because I already buy a lot of things from Korea um, online and I knew that when I actually went there knowing that it would be cheaper I would take things a little bit too far and indeed I did. So when I flew out there I bought a nice big suitcase and I also bought a smaller carry-on suitcase uh, that was practically empty when I flew there. When I came back home it actually couldn't even fit in that suitcase and I had to get another bag and I kind of broke British Airways' two bags on the plane policy because I had to like hide my backpack and it was all nonsense and then I got to the check-in desk and it wouldn't fit and then it was... It was a whole ordeal. But anyway, I somehow managed to get a lot of things back to my house here in the UK, in London, um, from Korea. And I thought I would show you. Okay, so I'll kind of try to do this in some kind of order. But my things have currently been sat in my suitcase for three days since I got back. And they're kind of all over the place. So I'll kind of group it by shops. But if it's in a random order, please, I apologise if that annoys you. Um, I couldn't even think of any type of order when I was packing. Okay, so the first few things I have here to show you are the things I bought from the Line Friends store. Now, I made so many trips to the Line Friends store, it's not even funny. I was staying in Myeongdong when I was in Korea, and they had a Line Friends store, and I was basically there every single day. So all of these are from a collection of many different Line Friends stores. Um, I think also I bought something in Monopoly, um, from a different somewhere else <laughs> but these are the BT21 things that I purchased so the first one I got is actually in action right now it's on my phone case and it is a shooky pop socket um, now <laughs> if anyone knows me um, they know that Yungi aka sugar is my bias in BTS um, you would think automatically that should make the character your bias uh, but I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Shuki. Shuki's really cute, but he's not the cutest character to me, so I bought very few Shuki things, and I bought a lot more of another character that you will see. I find this really comfortable to hold and to grip my phone with. It extends and goes down, and it looks like that. Okay, so another thing I got in the line store was this bag. So this is a Tata tote bag, and I absolutely love Tata. The majority of line things I buy uh, from BT21 is Tata. Tata is my BT21 bias, okay? Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. The reason why I really like this, obviously it's Tata, so that's why. But it doesn't just have these two handles here. It has a third long handle, so you could like put this over your shoulder. And it even has a buckle to like extend it longer. Also, it has a pocket on the inside. The one thing I hate about carrying tote bags is that the majority of them don't have pockets. Um, but the ones in the line store, um, well, the ones that I got from the line store do, and I absolutely love them. So, yeah. Okay, so staying within the bag theme, um, I also got another tote bag. This is a shiki one. Um, now, I got this from Monopoly, which I believe is like a kind of stationery type store that they have and they had a BT21 collaboration. This one actually comes with a little hook on the corner that you have to attach one of the BT21 charms to. And of course I got a Shuki charm as well, just so they'd match. More BT21. I got this shopping bag. This is a Shuki shopping bag and it is quite big. I don't know why I bought it, because I don't really think I would use it that much. I don't really, I can't imagine myself going to Tesco with this. Um, <laughs> But it's got Shuki on this side and on the upper upper side and on the opposite side it's got this other picture of Shuki 
and it says I love everything but just be careful with milk I actually got this at the airport this was the final BT21 thing I bought even at the terminal literally opposite my gate I'm buying more things from BT21 but this was only like 4,001 um because it was at the airport it was duty free so this was really really cheap okay so a couple more bt21 things <laughs> forgot that i bought these uh, but these aren't actually for me these are gifts for my friends um so for my friends i got um a Kuya, uh phone pop socket and a tata phone pop socket so that's what these two look like up close and these will be for my lovely friends Lucy and Lauren. The next bag I have is just filled with completely random things. It was in so many shopping bags that I just had to reduce the bags to fly with, obviously. So a lot of these are combined. Um, it's currently in a Mediheal bag, but a lot of these are not Mediheal. Continuing with the BT21 um, theme, I got some more BT21 things. I got some hand sanitizers. So I got four BT21 hand sanitizers. I got a Chimmy hand sanitizer, which is apparently passionate orange. Koya, which is smart grapefruit. I got Shuki, which is cute raspberry. Last but not least, I got Mung, which is heart grape. I've literally not even opened. Let's open one to see what it actually looks like inside the box. And that's what the Shuki one looks like. I'm assuming that others probably look very similar, just with different colour, um, liquids, and a different picture on the front. So yeah. Oh, and I got these from Olive Young. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think this is the last BT21 thing. Probably isn't, because I'm very unorganised. I actually don't know where everything else is. But this is the last BT21 thing I can see. And this is one of the uh, point masks. This is from Mediheal, and this is a Tata one. So another Mediheal product. The reason why I actually have this Mediheal bag is because I I bought the BT21. BT21? Wow, I'm actually so obsessed with BT21, it's not even funny. I bought the BTS X Mediheal, Mediheal, Mediheal uh, face mask pack. I think it might have some pictures inside. Let's have a look. So yeah, it comes with, I think, photo cards. We might as well look through them while we're here. Yeah, I'll just quickly show you a few. There's one there. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> look how blonde they look. <laughs> Beautiful. Fantastic. Talented. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> I can't think of any more adjectives. Fantabulous. And I think that's the last one. Or the first one. And on the back they all have the BTS X Mini Hill. Okay, so there's a few little knickknacks at the bottom of this bag. Um, I'll just do go through them quickly. Um, I have a hand cream from Daiso, which is basically like the Korean uh, version of Poundland. Um, I actually think it's Japanese, um, but this is a uh, cotton flavoured hand cream. And also from Daiso, I got a couple of um, mini perfumes. I also bought a dark red cherry tinted lipstick. I think this was from the face shop. Okay, <laughs> next bag. Ugh. I got the GOT7 X um, the face shop face masks and this is what it looks like on the front. There was a special offer going with these <laughs> and the special offer was that you could choose three GOT7 posters. Okay so these is how big they are. They are ridiculously big. I don't even know why <laughs> I, took, I brought these home. I'm not going to put them on my wall but anyways. <laughs> so the first member to pull out is my amazing bias in GOT7, Jackson Wang, and he looks amazing. Um, this is the main reason why I accepted these GOT7 pictures, because you could choose which member, uh, which members you wanted, and I love Jackson so much. Um, so I thought I picked this up. Uh, also on the back of all of them it has this picture of them. Okay, so the next member I selected was da, 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 da. it actually opens 
Yu-Gi-Oh! I can only see through the, through the viewfinder and I couldn't even tell if it was him. Yeah, yu gi was the next member I chose. I love him, he's amazing and talented and amazing and fantastic. And last but not least, the final member I chose from GOT7 was the Prince of Thailand, Bam Bam. He looks adorable in this photo and I couldn't leave without Bam Bam. Um, if I could choose more, I would have chosen chosen all of them because I love all of Got7, but these are definitely my top three. And I actually wish I asked for JB as well, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay, so more face masks. I picked up these from um, the Sam. I don't know if that's how you say it, the same. Um, I think that's how you say it. But this one is a natural sheet mask rice. So it's a rice one. And the next one is honey. Oh, this isn't even the last bag. Why did I get so much? I got from the face shop a foaming cleanser. This is a peach foaming cleanser. I actually have no idea which shop I got this from, um, but this is a honey mild acidic pH sheet, sheet mask, a uh, honey fit, so it's a honey mask. More sheet masks, I picked up these, um, and these are the Aerial 7 day masks. Next I replenished something I already have at home, uh, which is the low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser from Cause RX. Okay, so next is a couple things from Innisfree. Uh, first thing is the Green Tea Balancing Cream EX. It's just a moisturiser, uh, because I really needed a new moisturiser, um, and I got that. And then next, I got the Green Barley Peeling Toner. It says, vinegar made from fermented green barley from Jeju Island. Next, I went to Espoir and I picked up the Face Prime Glow Fix Mist. I actually bought this because literally the day before I was leaving, um, Kenny JD, I don't know if you know her, amazing YouTuber, I'm obsessed with her. Uh, she did a like Korean makeup tutorial or skincare or something along those lines. Uh, but she literally posted it like the day that I was leaving and I was, I watched it in the morning, then I went shopping in Myeongdong and she spoke about this um, and I picked it up because she said she really liked it and I respect her opinion. So Kenny, hopefully this is good because I've not opened it yet. I also have some makeup here. This is a foil eyeshadow from Make Make or Make Wake, Wake Make? How, how do you say that? Oh, Wake Make. <laughs> It's on the side. So Wake Make Foil Eyeshadow in number four, Red Light. Speaking of makeup, I have a few makeup bits here. These I actually opened and started using while I was in Korea. Um, I was just testing them out and also I was really excited to use them. Um, actually, let me know if you want to see a Korean style makeup tutorial using all the products I bought. I'm actually wearing one of them on my eyes and my cheeks and that is the 3CE Star Nanda. I don't know if this is technically supposed to be a blush, it just said one colour shadow. Um, it's in Notorious Plum and I used it on my eyes and on my cheeks. Yeah, I do really really like this. Um, I have it on as well as um, this Nature Republic glittery, um, it's like supposed to be a glittery pink eyeshadow. Um, really annoyingly it had an overspray so it looked amazing. Um, in the packaging and also when I tested it but when I've been using it it's not quite as uh, glittery as it uh, as I thought it would be it's pretty decent I have it on but yeah it's all right and I also picked up some eyebrow products uh, I'm currently wearing this one which was from Etude House and it is just the the drawing brow slim 1.5 milliliter eyebrow pencil and I also have an eyebrow pencil from Daiso which I think was maybe like 3001 um, this one isn't very great the other one is really really good uh, this one's obviously really really cheap okay come on we're speeding through not that much left I picked up a lot of socks like a lot there are a few pairs of socks that I have already started to wear so I'm not going to show you them but these are the ones I haven't opened yet I spent 1001 on a BTS sugar pair of socks uh, he is my bias he's not flipping you off in that picture he's actually doing a peace sign <laughs> then I got these glittery pink socks I got some more BT21 socks these are obviously unofficial they were just from a random stall in Myeongdong 1001 each I got Tata and Shuki I got this Nature Republic um, aloe vera 
it was mainly because I really wanted to get this when I was in New York and I just ended up not getting it. Um, it's huge, it's like 300 milliliters and this costs like 4,000 won which is literally like three pound or maybe even less so I'm so happy I got this because I love aloe vera gel and it was dirt cheap. So next I have this green tea lotion. Um, I think this was from Innisfree. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't know why I bought cotton pads because I always buy cotton pads here in the UK, usually from Wilco because they have this one that's circular for 50p. Um, but I picked up these um, mainly because whenever I watched YouTuber videos doing like Korean skincare, they always have these little square pads and they looked really cool. So I got these, I think this was like 2001, so it wasn't really that expensive. And there's 80 pads in there. This is exciting. I went to Olens, um, mainly because I wanted to look at the Blackpink um, contact lenses collaboration. Um, and I ended up picking up some contact lenses. I've never worn contacts in my entire life, uh, but I got these. These are two months worth of pair. It is the Russian Velvet. Um, contact lenses and they are in a hazel brown. Just found a couple more pairs of socks at the bottom of my case. Um, they are these sparkly black socks um, which match the pink ones and also just a pair of grey plain socks as well. Uh, from Olive Young I got this BT21 um, face mask. So I just remembered I also picked up another BT21 item. Um, this one I've actually opened and started to use but I picked up the diary and a pen. So this is the Tata schedule. It looks like this, a little diary. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Last couple of things that I got. I got this little charm which looks like this. It's like a little flower main reason why I got it is because Hoppy from BTS um, had one hanging on his bag and it looked really 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 cute and they sell these everywhere in Korea they're like really popular um, I can't quite remember what they're called um, but this is just really cute like to have on um, like a bag or something there are a few more things that I'm not going to show um, only because I've packed them away but a few of them are behind me so on the shelf there I picked up some more BTS albums I also picked up the last version of Persona number four which I didn't have yet um, and finally I picked up two really old BTS albums I got Dark and Wild and I got Wings the N version of Wings and they are on my top shelf which you can't quite see but I'm not going to bring them down because my BTS shrine will probably fall if I start messing it up again now the final thing that I'm going to show you we have reached the end of the haul there is <laughs> nothing left after this um, the thing I'm going to show you is uh, probably my favorite thing that I bought mainly because I'm just so excited to use it and that is this I got a black pink light stick so this is what it looks like it's so gorgeous I absolutely love it I'm going to turn it on but it's probably not going to be visible since it's so bright I've got all my lights on but you can kind of see the lights in there. Also, the thing I love about this is that it has a squeaker. So if you listen, <laughs> I just find that so freaking cute. And actually the main reason why I bought this is because I'm seeing Blackpink literally tomorrow. As I'm filming this, I'm seeing them tomorrow and I'm so, so, so excited. I get to actually wield this bad boy in public at Wembley Arena. I'm so, so, so excited. Anyway, everyone, thank you so, so, so much for watching this insanely huge haul of things I bought in Korea. I spent way too much money on all of this stuff. Like, I, I need to show you what my bed looks like right now because I have everything sprawled on my bed and it's just insane. Um, I absolutely loved my time in Korea and I cannot wait to go back. I cannot wait to start using all of this stuff that I have because I just want to get rid of most of the products I bought because it's actually insane right now. It's just too much. I was so happy and lucky that I got to visit Korea. I saved up all of last year so that I could go on this trip this year for two weeks and I absolutely loved, loved, loved my time there. Um, I am already planning on my next trip and hopefully the next time I won't buy quite as much as this. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this humongous haul. If you did, please do give me a massive 
thumbs up if you actually managed to make it this far into the video. If you like what you saw, please do subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Annyeong. <laughs> see ya.